Let's see how to complete the No Man's Land Relic Ruin. Start by igniting this fire gleam in the northeast entrance. Inside the small room, you'll find an energy cell. We'll need that later, so just leave it there for now. Head back out and make sure you grab the chest up on the ledge and the safe just inside the tunnel. Go to the north end of the tunnel and pick up the green shine. Then, use the pole caster to open the grate just above the green shine. Jump up and climb into the vent and crawl through to come out into a courtyard on the southwest side of the ruins. Look to your right and grab the crate tucked away in an opening. Move the crate across the courtyard to the ledge on the opposite side. Now use the crate to climb up onto the ledge and run over to find another fire gleam patch. After exploding this one, head inside and jump down into the water. Make sure you scan the data point near the power terminal. We'll need that later. Now use the pole caster to crumble the northern wall, which leads back into the tunnel we entered at the start. Head back out to the entrance to grab the energy cell and then bring it back here to the charging terminal. Now, here's where it gets a little tricky. If you try to walk the charged energy cell through the water to the power terminal on the other side, it will short circuit and discharge, so we need a way to bring it across without touching the water. Use the pole caster to climb back up onto the ledge you entered this room from. On the northern end, there's a small room that will give a view of a crate on the opposite ledge. Use the pole caster to pull it as far as you can towards you. Now, head back out onto the ledge and use the pole caster from this angle to pull it out and off the ledge. Hop down and move the crate over in the water to place it next to the charging terminal. Now you can remove the energy cell from the charging terminal and drop it on the crate. Jump back into the water and slide the crate left to the other side. Now you can pick the energy cell up, walk it over to the power terminal, and insert it. This will power up the keypad upstairs. Now try to climb the handholds on the southern wall. The lower one will break off, so we need to move the crate up here using the ramp and then use it to jump onto the higher handhold. Alternatively, if you're quick, it's also possible to wall jump your way over to this ledge from the first one. If you can pull this off, this can also be a nice way to get the crate down. Now we just need to enter a code in the keypad. This is where that data point comes in. Head into the data points area of your notebook and go all the way to the bottom to find the VIP key data point. Open it to get code 2204. Enter this code into the keypad and the doors will open. Before heading inside for the relic, make sure to grab this chest in the room where the crate was. Finally, you can head in and grab the yellow relic ornament and you'll be rewarded with 2 skill points and 5000 XP. Congratulations, you've completed the No Man's Land Relic Ruin and you're one step closer to the legendary Ancestor's Return Shredder Gauntlet. Like and subscribe for more Horizon Forbidden West speed guides.